Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So before we get into some Major League Baseball action for May the 29th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's get into some games here. It's a full slate of games as we are more than a quarter of the way through the Major League Baseball season. So the races are actually starting to heat up already, so let's get started here. We're going to take a look at six games for Sunday, May the 29th. The first one we want to look at here is the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. Boston enters play burning hot down, having won five out of their last six. The Orioles are average down, coming off of uh, two straight losses to the Yankees, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six games. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Boston is at plus 29, while Baltimore... They were at plus 24, and they have dropped to plus 14 after their two consecutive losses. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Boston has been over the line in five out of their last six games, while Baltimore has been over the line in four out of their last six games. And the score prediction looks like 8 nothing blowout in favor of Boston with nearly 66% level of confidence. If you look at the stability factor, how consistent are the two teams performing with regard to their favorite underdog status? You see that Baltimore is at plus 8. Now, they were as high as plus 10. They're now at plus 8. While Boston has not been consistent at all, you can see they were at plus 6 back on April 28th, and they are now down to plus 1. In the end, though, I think Boston clearly the better team. They will win this game. I think this game would be a high-scoring game, so pick Boston and over the line. Colorado and Washington. The next one we want to look at here as we scroll down through. You see it's a full slate of games for Sunday. It is New York Yankees and Tampa Bay Rays. The Yankees come in burning hot, as is Tampa Bay. You see the Yankees are coming off of a two-game winning streak, and they're 3-3 uh, three and three over their last six. Tampa Bay has won their last two, and they are 4-2 and two over their last six games. Luis Severino is scheduled to pitch for the Yankees, and Shane McClanahan is set to get the ball for Tampa Bay. Severino is 3-0 and zero with a 3.02 ERA and a very nice plus 243 on the pitcher profit oscillators. He has been a very good bet so far. McClanahan is 4-2 and two with a very good ERA of 2.06, and he has also been a solid bet coming in at plus $38. The score prediction has Tampa Bay by a 7-4 score, but look, the confidence in prediction is only 31%, so take that with a grain of salt, at least for now. Check as it gets closer to the game to see if that percentage has changed. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that Tampa Bay is at plus 22, increasing from plus 12 just a few days ago, while the Yankees have climbed from plus 6 up to plus 13. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the Yankees have been involved in games over the line in three out of the last five, and Tampa Bay has been involved in games over the line in four out of the last six. The volatility also shows both teams have been consistent, particularly the Yankees at plus 15, while Tampa Bay is at plus 7. So these teams are consistently performing with regards to their favorite underdog status. I like the Yankees in this one on the road. I really do. I think the Yankees are going to come away with the win here. In a close game, one or two runs, but I'd like this to be more of a pitcher's battle. I want this game to be under the line, and I would bet under the line in this one. The Cubs and the White Sox, we're not going to look at that one. Uh, Royals and Twins, Brewers-Cardinals. Here is a classic NL Central battle. The Brewers and the Cardinals. The Brewers come in burning hot, winners of their last two and four out of their last six. While the Cardinals are average, they had they had won their previous four, but they're coming off an 8-1 to one blowout loss to Toronto at home. Um, the pitching matches have not yet been determined, but take a look at the over-under. The Cardinals have been involved in games over the line in their last six, while the Brewers over the line in only one out of the last six. So when it's on opposite sides like that, I try to avoid the over or under in that scenario. And even this, if you look at the score prediction of six to three, we don't know what the line is yet, but that is right on the edge with a lot of times where the line is going to be right in that neighborhood. So again, I would avoid the over or under. The confidence in prediction right now is only 33%. However, if you look at the power ranking indicator, Clearly, you can see that St. Louis is on an upward trend. They're on plus 13 back on May the 19th. Now they are on plus 29, while the Brewers were at plus 8, and they have increased to plus 15. 
how consistent have the teams been performing with regard to the favorite underdog stats? You can see both teams pretty consistent, although you can see that the Brewers were at plus 12 and they had dipped over the last few days down to plus 10, and the Cardinals have been steady at plus 9 over the last few days. But both teams have been pretty consistently performing. So in the end, I like the Cardinals at home, but I would avoid the over-under bet. Rangers A's. Blue Jays Angels. Next one we're going to look at as we keep scrolling down through the whole list of games is an NL West battle between the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks. The Dodgers come in average status. They are 4-2 over their last six games. They're coming off a 1-0 loss to Washington. While Arizona is burning hot, they are on a two-game winning streak and have won five out of their last six games. Tyler Anderson is set to pitch this one for the Dodgers. He is 5-0. With a 3.30 ERA, but hasn't been a good bet. Just under the line at minus $6. So not a very good bet, actually, for Anderson. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see here the clear up and down movement for Arizona. They were at plus 21 after being down at plus 0. Then they dropped to 7. Now they're back up to 24. Similarly with the Dodgers, they had been up near the top of the league. They dipped to plus 21, and now they're back up to plus 25. The score prediction has Arizona by a 6-4 score with 45% level of confidence, and this has been changing. Um, this was at 6-4 with 39% confidence, and now the confidence has increased to 45%. So take a look at that as it gets closer and closer to game time. The volatility oscillator, we can see the consistency factor. The Dodgers, fairly consistent. They're kind of an up and, up and downward trend, but now they are at plus 12. Well, the Diamondbacks have been a lot less consistent. They were up to plus 6. They dipped down to plus 1, back up to plus 6, and now they're at plus 5. So take their over under, uh, excuse me, under, over under, favorite underdog, favorite underdog stats with a little bit of grain of salt before we make the pick. In that regards, as far as the over under goes, you can see the Dodgers have been involved in games over the line in three out of their last six, while the Diamondbacks have been over the line in five out of their last six. So, in the end, putting it all together, I think the Dodgers are clearly the better team, even though they're on the road. It doesn't matter in this one. I think the Dodgers win this game in a game going over the line. Pittsburgh and San Diego. The Pirates are ice cold up, while the Padres are average. After losing their last two, and they were four and two over their last six. Rosie Contreras is scheduled to pitch for the Pirates, while Mackenzie Gore is set to pitch for the Padres. Contreras is one and zero with a 2.13 ERA, while Gore is three and one with a 2.06 ERA. So both pitchers have been doing very well, and Gore has been a very solid bet at plus 131 dollars. The score prediction has a lower scoring game of five to one in favor of San Diego with confidence and prediction of nearly 42%. On the power ranking indicator, we see San Diego has dropped from plus 24 down to plus 12, and similarly Pittsburgh has been on a little bit of a decline, plus 9 down to plus 4. Volatility, the stability factor, we always like to look at that. You can see here how Pittsburgh is at plus 10. They have been mainly on an upward trend, while the Padres were at plus 10, and now they had dipped down to plus 7. So lately, they have not been consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, again, as we put it all together, I like the Padres at home in a game going under the line. Finally, we want to look at the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. In this NL East battle, both teams have not been performing very well lately. As you see, the Phillies are just 2-4 and four over their last six games. I just called down. While the Mets are averaged down 3-3 three three over their last six, coming off of two straight losses to San Francisco. Kyle Gibson is set to pitch for the Phillies. He is 3-2 on the season with a 3.94 ERA and has been a good bet, though, at plus $135. If you look at the power ranking indicator, notice that the Phillies, well, Phillies right here, they were at plus 23, and they dipped considerably down to plus 7, while the Mets have also dropped from plus 25 down to plus 16. So something has to give this weekend. One of the teams is going to get back on the winning track. If we look at the uh, volatility oscillator, I think that we will see here that the Phillies have been very, very inconsistent. Look at this, minus 3. 
They just haven't been stable at all. So take their favorite underdog stats and pretty much throw it out the window. Because they never never really winning when favorite or losing when underdog. Um, the Mets here at plus four, they've been pretty steady near that plus four mark for quite a while. They were up as high as plus five and down to plus three. But really since about the end of really since about the end of April, they've been hovering right between the plus three and plus five. So they haven't been very consistent at all. In this game, I really do think the Phillies will win this one on the road. It's just really more of a gut feeling than anything else. I think the Phillies will win this game on the road. And I do like a higher scoring game because both teams have been trending in games over the line. So pick the Phillies and over. So there you have it. Those are the games in Major League Baseball for May the 29th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.